Toxic sludge threatens Europe's second longest river. School gardens encourage adventurous eating. And Leonardo DiCaprio helps launch Animal Action Week. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, the top environmental news stories of the day in 100 seconds or less. I'm Sarah Backhouse and it's Thursday, October 7th. Rivers and lakes in 12 European countries are under threat as toxic sludge from a Hungarian factory heads towards the Danube. Emergency workers have poured 1,000 tonnes of plaster into the Marsal River to try and bind the sludge that bursts from a waste reservoir to keep it flowing into the Danube, some 45 miles away. Hungary's Environment Minister Zoltán Illis said the cleanup could cost tens of millions of pounds and take at least a year. Officials hope to contain the spill before it hits Europe's second largest river, which is rich in wildlife. Now, here's Catherine Goldstein with Webvine. Thanks, Sarah. Here at HuffPost Green, we are huge fans of school garden programs, and Walker Jones Elementary is a stellar example of how great it is for students to learn about where food comes from in and out of the classroom. Only blocks from the capital, students are getting exposed to all things gardening on this half-acre farm, making them more willing to try the beets, zucchini, or kale. Nearby businesses have chipped in on resources and supplies. We hope to see many more gardens like this throughout the country. You can watch the whole video on HuffPost Green. Thanks, Catherine. And finally, Leonardo DiCaprio has partnered with the International Fund for Animal Welfare to help launch Animal Action Week. The annual initiative, now in its 18th year, works to educate and empower children around the world to stand up, speak out and help save animals. This year's theme is tigers. And that's our show for today. See you tomorrow for more Planet 100 news.